Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Kayla here. So our first big project of 2021 was our pantry and this has been on my wish list for a long time and we thought this would be a good project to start the new year off. The one thing I did not do was film a before pantry but you'll still kind of see it as the video goes on. So yeah, let's get started and I'll just kind of quickly walk you through everything that we did. started of course by taking everything out of the pantry and like I said I didn't have any before video but here you can see this is pretty much what the pantry looked like before and my camera actually started to fall so that was a bummer but you can still see what I was doing this took a while and I wanted to show you guys all the food laid out but I was a little embarrassed and even my husband Michael was like wow that's a lot of food you don't realize it until you pull everything out so Michael finally came in and joined us helped with the last little bit and then he started on the shelves he actually said they were pretty hard to get out I think some of our walls were bowed slightly so he definitely had some trouble and had to go back and get a couple of different tools to get those out but yeah once we got those out and it just looked completely different once we pulled all the shelves out Michael is staining the new shelves that will be going in. I think this was done the day before actually, but I just decided to put this right here in the video. So normally when we stain anything, he puts it down on something and we do one side, wait till it dries and flips. But he was like, you know what? I have so much I have to stain. He wanted to get this done in one day. So he just kind of rigged his little garage area and hung some hooks. And I have to say that was pretty clever. He also did this with the barn door. Um, after he finished the shelves, he put the barn door up where the shelves were. That way he could do both sides at the same time, which is pretty clever. If you have the room and the, have the right tools to do, that's definitely the way to go. So while Michael was staining, like I said, this was the day before and this was after the kids went to bed because I cannot paint when the kids are up. Um, I got some paint. I actually was thinking about doing some wallpaper and I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. So I was like, you know what? We had some extra white paint, almost a full can actually. And I just decided, you know what, we don't have any natural light. We don't have like the light switch, which I think is a little bummer because this is a nice little pantry, but oh well. So I thought the white would kind of brighten it up and really help give it a fresh, clean look. And then I also decided to do white on the ceiling as well to help that, to just make it nice and fresh and bright in there. This was day two, which was the main install finish day. Uh, Michael, like I said, stained everything the day and night before. So here he is starting to level off and making and putting the shelves together.
piece was the barn door. I was super excited to use this. Like I said, I don't have a video, but the door that was on here, I think the previous owners put like chalk paint, but it was the chalk color from like the good old chalkboards from, you know, long time ago, that greenish blue color. And um, yeah, I'm not sure why they did that. I would have thought they would have maybe done black, but oh well, that was their choice. But I did not like it, and I felt like the space was nice and big, but just that barn door was going to really help make the area even bigger. Hopefully that makes sense trying to describe that. But I will say, if you've never put a barn door together, it takes time and it took Michael probably about a solid hour to get all the hardware on. It was definitely our first time. We trial and error trying to figure stuff out but yeah it was pretty fun though and we love the end result. And there you have it guys. The pantry is completely done and I absolutely love it. It is exactly what I wanted. Like I said, there is no natural light in here or of course light switch. So I added these lights and that's actually a remote that I just put with some Velcro right there, kind of hidden. And it really brightens this space up. And I love the cubbies. That was my number one um, idea that I wanted to do and Michael really wanted to stretch that middle shelf out as you can see that way we can stack things if we ever wanted to so yeah this isn't a full pantry tour but if you'd like more detail or any more info please let me know in the comments down below I can make another dedicated video but yeah that's it and I hope you guys enjoyed our pantry makeover thank you so much and make sure you subscribe to my channel See you next time. Bye.